We are here at the 6th Organic Arable Farming Day in Konien in Canton Fribourg. We are at the soybean weeding demonstration plot with seven different machines. We have organized this demonstration because weeding is one of the main factors of economic success in organic agriculture. In recent years, hoeing technology has improved more and more. Hoeing machines have become much more efficient, much more precise. Not least thanks to modern electronic computerized control technology, which is being used more and more. This is a mechanically guided weeder, the Marta Mach Unica F. It is kept in track by disc wheels attached to the front of the machine. The machine can move 20 to 30 centimeters to the right or left. It is equipped with a finger hoe that allows you to work in a row. Guards protect the plants. It is a simple, inexpensive but well-functioning machine. This is the Einboch Chopstar Weed Hoe in front attachment. It has goose foot coulters attached to spring tines and additional discs. The young plants are not covered using this method. In addition, slightly larger hoe blades are mounted in the rear part, which decimate the weeds in the line. This is a robo crop from Garford, a hoe with a very short hydraulic side guide. However, control is mainly via the camera, which is orientated to two rows. If one row is not clearly visible, the system can still orientate itself on the other line and keep the machine in track. Another special feature, sharp L-shaped coulters are mounted. They work very flat and scalp and simply cut off the weeds. In slightly humid conditions, such as today, it would be interesting to use a small harrow behind the machine to further crush the lumps of soil so that they dry quickly. Here we have a weed hoe from the Schmotzer company. One of the special features is the hydraulic side guide. This allows the hoe to move 30 centimeters to the right or left in order to always stay in line. We have a class camera here. It's a 3D color camera that makes it possible to recognize the row, even when weeds are more pronounced. When the soy is sticking out over the weeds, it works a bit better. You can drive quite fast with it and still take your turn. The machine requires relatively little traction due to the side shift mechanism. This is a modern harrow, the Treffler TS620. Its special feature is that each individual tine is connected to a double spring via a steel cable. The pressure on the tines is adjustable from the tractor and ranges from 200 grams per tine to 5 kilos per tine. All tines thus maintain the same pressure regardless of the unevenness of the ground. Here the teeth are set at a right angle to the ground which enables very strong aggressive cultivation. A special feature is that the rear hydraulics do not support the machine. The machine stands on four wheels. It adapts to the topography of the field and no matter how unevil the field is, the time pressure is the same everywhere because the machine adapts to the conditions. We are standing here in front of the Aerostar roller harrow from Einberg. The harrow tines are located here on discs which are arranged 15 degrees transversely to the direction of travel and are driven by traction. The machine works in a row independent manner and pulls out the weeds without damaging the crop. The wheels with the tines are individually suspended and spring mounted. The working pressure of the machine can be individually adjusted hydraulically from the driver's cab. In this way a consistent result is achieved. This is the Roll Hacker Rotonet of the French company Carré. The machine works flat, independent of the rows. The tip of the hooks have the shape of a spoon pointing forward. The faster the machine is driven, the more weeds are moved with the soil, the more aggressive it works. It is a machine with which you have to drive very fast. At the moment, soy cultivation is still at a very early stage, the plants are small. We work at a speed of 10 to 20 kilometers per hour, 
it is gentle enough for the soy. The second feature is that the hoe covers various weed stages. Weeds from the white thread to the cotyledon or even two leaves. 